Hello guys, Assalamualaikum and a good evening So today I'm going to discuss a little bit So actually this video is focused on the dye sensitized solar cell So this video, the focus of this video is about electrochemical impedance spectroscopy So what are we going to extract the information? What information are we going to extract from this EIS analysis? So as you can read from uh, the paper, this paper they are saying that the EIS analysis um, was performed to study the effect of compact layer on the charge transfer resistance and series resistance. So the main thing about the Nyquist plot, you can know about the charge transfer resistance and series resistance. So the Nyquist plot shows two obvious semicircle in the range 100 hertz, kilohertz to 1 hertz. So from the graph, you can see. So if you if your graph depict uh, three semicircle, you can say the Nyquist plot depict three obvious semicircle. In this case, it's obviously two semicircle. So next, mm, this paper explain about what is the semicircle at low frequency and high frequency. Okay, this the first one is the semicircle at high frequency. Even though you can say that the first one located at the low frequency, but the result actually vice versa because the the machine scan from high frequency to low frequency. So actually, the first semicircle is the first semicircle at high frequency. So the semicircle at high frequency is belong to the charge transfer resistance at the counter electrode electrolyte interface, while the semicircle at higher frequency belong to the charge transfer resistance at the TiO2 dye electrolyte interface. So, so the main focus was given to RCT2 because RCT1 does not affected by the compact layer. However, some paper also reported about the RCT1. But normally, a lot of paper report about RCT2, charge transfer resistance at TiO2 dye electrolyte interface. So why? When people are talking why we only focus at this interface why we are not focusing on the counter electrode electrolyte interface so logically how to answer the problem is because the compact layer is a layer in between this interface compact layer is a layer between the transparent conductive oxide and photoinod which is TiO2 so actually it is a layer before the TiO2 that's why it belongs to this interface TiO2 dye electrolyte interface and the compact layer does not disturb the interface of counter electrode electrolyte interface because this one is a, a photocathode it's a cathode it's, it's different what we call that different terminal so we are talking about photo anode the terminal of anode not the terminal of cathode so that's why that's why the main focus is given to the rct2 rather than rct1 okay okay next so from the figure you can see that you can see that the figure six show the incorporation of the air to nanoparticles with the air to compare layer display a decrease in the rct2 so a decrease in the rct2 if you can see a decrease in rct2 from uh, 14.3 to 12.7 is good because decrease in resistance is good we want to have a low resistance uh, so the reason in this case is because because of what because the incorporation of the IO2 compact layer produce fast electron hole generation that reduce the recombination effect due to reduce charge transfer resistance at the IO2 dye electrolyte interface Okay, even though you are, you, let's say, you are asking me, by having a new layer, we add a new layer at between the TCO, transparent conductive oxide, and the photoanode. By having a new layer like a door, a new door, so the electron must through another barrier, why not the resistance increase instead of decrease? However, in this case, we are talking about compact layer. A layer is very thin, very compact, and very conductive. That's why that layer actually increase the electron hole generation, fasten the electron hole generation, and reduce the recombination effect 
due to the reduce of charge transfer resistance at the IO2 the electrolyte interface if there is no compact layer what happened the resistance at this interface will increase because of what because some of the electron will recombine with the redox electrolyte so the electron of TCO would like to combine with redox electrolyte so the what we call it the charge tra efficiency of the charge transfer is reduced that's why um, the performance will be reduced if there is no compact layer in this case the compact layer uh, produce a fast electron hole generation so it's good so in addition when we are talking about the RS the series resistant what happened is the series resistant upon incorporation of the compact layer the series resistant decrease why because the compact layer is conductive so it's also increase the conductivity of the photo anode and increase upon addition of the compact layer it's all also about the charge transport also increase that's why the rs also mm, decrease a decrease in rs indicates higher conductivity okay now about under impedance also we got another plot which is both plot so the important about both plot is about to know about the maximum frequency so by having to know about the maximum frequency you can compare with compact layer and without compact layer as you can see with compact layer and without compact layer the maximum frequency is blue shifted shifted to the left so the f map value reduce a, a reduce in f map value is good because when we are um, using this formula tn electron lifetime equal to 1 over 2 pi f mac uh, when the f max maximum frequency when the maximum frequency is reduced what happened is the decrease in the f max indicate a reduced rate of charge recombination process in TSSC so by having a reduced f max so recombination charge also reduced so then we are saying that because we are using the formula to substitute we can know that by having a uh, low f mag we got a longer electron lifetime this longer electron lifetime indicates a low recombination effect because improved charge transport so we also can calculate the charge collection efficiency and see the charge collection efficiency a large charge collection efficiency indicates a direct transport pathway for the excited electron in the SSC and reduce recombination effect so we want to have a longer electron lifetime and a larger charge collection efficiency to for uh, for reduce recombination effect and enhance efficiency so it's quite simple so when you are studying about compact layer in the SSC under impedance we generally going to discuss about the charge transfer resistance, the series resistance, and also the f max value. So from the value, when we are using the equation, we know about the electron lifetime. We want to get the electron lifetime longer, and charge collection, we're going to get the charge collection larger for enhanced power conversion efficiency. That's why, basically, by having a compact layer, we can increase the power conversion efficiency because it's reduced the recombination because the compact layer itself act as a barrier so as a passivation layer blocking layer to block the unnecessary recombination of electron of TCO with the redox electrolyte I think that's all for today video thank you very much don't forget to like comment and subscribe